This is my chinchilla cage. I did a lot of research before setting it up, so I thought it might also be beneficial to share um, what I put together based on that research. So um, the cage is a really popular one for chinchillas. This is the Ferret Nation cage, and I will uh, post the link in the description or the tag or something. Um, but anyway, this is the, the Ferret Nation cage, and I took all the plastic parts out of it. And I had the metal pans at the bottom built by Bass Equipment. And I actually just called them and told them what cage I bought, and they've made a bunch of these. So I asked them to make the side lips as tall as they could, um, you know, to help try to keep the mess in. And uh, so this is what I got, and I've been happy with those pans. I um, also got the exercise wheel, and... Uh, I forget the, the name of that, but I'll post that as well in the hammocks on both levels. Um, the cage does is open to both levels, which is nice. I can separate the two chins if I need to. I uh, bought the shelving at Lowe's and just cut it, you know, to, you know, however I wanted to, to set this up. And I didn't use any galvanized. This is stainless steel hardware because they do chew on everything so you don't want galvanized um, but down here a similar setup a few things for them to hide in they really love you know their hiding spots and I've got a couple of the um, woodland getaways I think I just got those at my local pet store um, it sounds like there are several opinions on how to how to do the litter litter box situation a lot of people just fill the you know the bottom with bedding um, what I've done is actually just I have a cardboard box on each level I clipped it to the side so they don't scoot it around um, but they do pretty well using that um, to go to the restroom and there's one that's kind of hidden under the exercise wheel and all their feeding is down here at the bottom. Um, a glass water tube. Um, again, you don't want plastic because they chew on everything. And a food dish and Timothy hay in the corners down here. Um, for the for the bottom, then I use cut up fleece blankets, um, and I you know I have a couple weeks worth of those ready. I replace those every morning. And you know, wash them once a week, and that's a pretty good setup for me. It keeps the pen nice and clean, which they enjoy, and I enjoy. And as I mentioned, they love their little hideaways, and they love to chew on everything, but especially cardboard, at least mine do. Um, so I, I get these printer boxes just rolls of paper um, 36 inches long and I usually cut them in half and I just kind of sit those in different spots and they really like to sleep in those and kind of hide out in those um, but they do tear them up so I go through one of those or two of those a week it seems I have a couple of the chin chillers is what they're called online um, my, my chins don't use those too much, but they're nice for me just to kind of help keep the fleece blanket in place. Here, just kind of a view from the side here. I have two males as cage mates right now. Um, that's all I plan to get, really, but... Uh, they get along really well so far. I've had them for, I don't know, four months or six months perhaps. Uh, but it is nice, you know, I can divide the cage if I need to. Uh, a couple times a week I give them dust baths. And uh, this is the dust bath house that I bought. Uh, those are available almost anywhere that sells chinchilla stuff. And the dust that I use is this KT dust. 
Um, for the bedding, I use this Carefresh Natural. Um, but again, as far as bedding goes, I really just have, you know, one litter box in the bottom and one litter box in the top. And they, they do, like I said, they do pretty well using those. Um, I do have to kind of sweep up around the cage every day. Um, I typically do that first thing in the morning. They do, you know, they make a mess. So um, that's, that's one thing you need to be prepared for is kind of a lot of cleanup. Um, the food I use is this Missouri brand. And, you know, from the research that I've done, it seems to be the best, and, you know, they certainly enjoy it. And I make sure to give them a lot of chew toys. Um, most chinchillas don't really like to be held too much. Um, I have one that doesn't seem to mind it as much as the other, but for the most part, they, they like your company, and they like to play around you, but they don't necessarily like to be held by you. I think that's... Fairly typical, although I've seen videos of some that seem to really enjoy being held, but these, these two aren't too crazy about it. I try to get them out of their cage, um, you know, at least every couple days, give them some time to run around in another environment. Anyway, that's my setup.